Reason number one for why you need an Apple Watch is being able to quickly and easily unlock both your Mac and your iPhone by just wearing your watch. Now with your Mac, just walk up and nudge the mouse. And with your iPhone, just swipe up and it will check if your watch is nearby and unlocks and securely unlock your Apple device without needing to spend time touching in passwords or using Touch ID. Now this also extends to other apps. And if you need to type in your Mac password to get into certain security settings or even third party apps, just like 1Password, you can just double tap the side button on the watch. And once again, avoid having to type in a password. Now, Apple Pay is one of the best features on the Apple ecosystem. So to have this feature available directly on the Apple Watch is just so convenient. Like all you need to do is double press the side button and it loads up your default payment cards and you can just swipe to get to your other stored cards. Now just tap the watch on top of payment terminals and you can pay for anything in seconds, it is so, so convenient. But not only that, but using their express travel feature, you can set one of those cards as your default payment method. And when you jump on, say, the London Underground or the subway, you can literally just tap your watch without even having to wake it up or double tap to activate the Apple Pay. Just literally walk up, tap the watch on the payment terminal, and it will just activate immediately. But one of the biggest reasons to pick up an Apple Watch is for all of the health features, which can be a literal lifesaver to the right person. There are quite a few features here. Now you've got fall detection, which can detect if you take a fall. The watch will tap you on the wrist, sound an alarm, and display an alert and you can then tap to contact the emergency services. Now, if you don't respond for a minute, it will automatically call the emergency services for you. Then we've got crash detection, which works in a very similar way, which calls the emergency services after 20 seconds if you can't respond. It automatically plays an audio message with your location and tells them that you've been in a severe car crash. Next, we've got heart rate monitoring, which we've heard plenty of stories of how Apple Watches have detected those with irregular heartbeats and even diagnosed early signs of arterial fibrillation, otherwise known as AFib, which can then lead to other things like strokes and heart failures and like other diseases. For protecting your ears, there's the decibel meter, which warns when like the environment you're in is too loud for too long. And the recent backtrack feature, which has been added to the Ultra, drops a pin on the map every two minutes to allow you to easily trace your steps which is a great way to save yourself from like getting lost in the woods like Blair Witch style. Now, of course, I can't talk about the Apple Watch without talking about fitness because the Apple Watch is one of the best and most accurate fitness trackers that you can buy right now from the Apple Watch Ultra right down to the most affordable Apple Watch SE. Now with the Apple Watch, you can track everything from the number of steps you take each day through to tracking your workouts at the gym or out for a run. It is just great at tracking all of these stats accurately. You can also set exercise goals for your day and even compete with your friends to fitness challenges with goals that you set. Now, the best thing that I've come across here in the UK though is getting an Apple Watch for free through my health insurance. Now I pay about 40 pounds per month for like the insurance policy. And then just by exercising, I get all sorts of freebies and discounts. I get free cinema tickets, free coffee, discounts on shoes, discounts on Samsung Galaxy watches, and just a whole lot more. All of this just from exercising each day. If you are watching from the UK, you can also also get £100 cash back when signing up for your own health policy using the link down below. And if you're watching from the US, all of that probably just absolutely blew your mind. Now the Apple Watch provides a great way to see what's going on without constantly having to pull your phone from your pockets. Use it to glance at your watch to check messages, calendar appointments, and notify you when phone calls happen. Like being notified of phone calls was actually the first reason I bought an Apple Watch in the first place for work. Like I never wanted to miss a phone call from a customer and the Apple Watch fixed it. You can also send quick replies to messages without having to pull the phone from your pocket. And using your phone, you can control which specific notifications you want to receive on your watch just so that your wrist isn't like constantly buzzing every time your phone goes off. And you can take this a step further because number six is that having an Apple Watch actually detaches you from your iPhone because you don't need to constantly carry around this like slab of metal in your pockets. You can go for a run with just an Apple Watch and a pair of Bluetooth headphones and play music directly from the watch to the headphones. You can also take calls from your watch with or without Bluetooth headphones and you can send and receive messages all without carrying a phone with you to weigh you down or distract you with endless notifications. And the notifications you do want to see, well, you can see those on your watch anyway. Next up is sleep tracking. This is one I've been really trying to work on lately. Now I've been consuming a ton of information from Matt Walker after watching his TED talk where the science shows you that getting pretty bad sleep has some significant ramifications to your health. And when my memory is already really poor, it's definitely something that concerns me as I get older. But wearing an Apple Watch to bed, it helps you and it guides you along to help you wind down in the evening, hearing you for when it's time to head to sleep. It also tracks your sleep each night so you can see how much time you spend in like deep sleep. Like for me, when I was regularly staying up to 1 a.m. in the morning, when I went to bed, it was three minutes and I'm straight into this like deep and like almost unconscious deep sleep. REM sleep is where you dream and where your short-term memories get committed to your long-term memories. 
And until recently, I realized that I haven't dreamt for the last two years. And that's because I'm just not sleeping long enough to get to that REM sleep part of my sleep. Now the issue was even worse with getting up in the mornings. Like once I'm in bed, I never want to leave bed. And again, the Apple Watch comes in handy here because it's- Wake you up like really suddenly. The haptic motors on the back of the Apple Watch really kind of gently wake you up. And also because they're just gently tapping on your, on your wrist, it doesn't wake up anybody else who might be in the same room as you. And now something I'm trying at the moment is I'm using the sleep tracking to set my alarm so I can actually wake up naturally when I'm already in like the light sleep part of my sleep cycle. So the Apple Watch for me plays a huge part in making sure I'm getting enough quality sleep and it's helping me wake up much more naturally each morning. The next one is focus modes. And this is one I found increasingly useful over the last few months. Now focus modes can change how your watch looks and behaves depending on outside factors. Like perhaps it's the time of day or your location or when you're using a certain app on your Mac. When I drive to the gym, as soon as I arrive, my watch knows where it is. So it switches the watch face to one with quick access to all of my fitness apps on the front. Now, when I run my work apps on my Mac, my watch switches to work mode and mutes all the notifications except for the important ones like my wife or the, if the school calls about my kids. So using focus modes, you can remove these unnecessary distractions and bring the stuff you want to focus on to the front of your watch. And then home automation is a big part of my life. Like my whole house is pretty much automated. I've actually got some products here still that I need to install some like Govee lights and a, an Eve like smart camera to install. And all of this and more is accessible cool. and controllable with just the Apple Watch. Like I use my watch literally every day to switch lights on and off, like open and close the garage door, turn the heating up or down, like turn plugs on or off. I've also recently added an Apple TV onto every TV in the house. So you can use the watch to turn the TV on and use the app to control the TV. So now it doesn't matter anymore if the kids lose remote control. And the next one is family. And this is probably one I'm going to have to do fairly soon with my kids getting to an age where they're like demanding like watches and phones. But with an Apple Watch, you can actually set one up for your child to wear, even if they don't have a phone themselves. Now, once they are wearing one, there's a ton of features that this opens up for both them and you. Now, as the kid wearing it, you get an Apple Watch, of course. You can message your friends or your family, share your location, install apps use Apple Pay, get access to all of like the emergency features that we've already mentioned and track your health stats. As a parent though, you can control pretty much all of this to restrict access like when you need to. There's even a specific school time schedule which turns the watch into pretty much just a basic watch to be used whilst they're in school. And they can unlock it, but only for short periods of time, it, un it automatically locks itself again. And you can see how many times they've unlocked it. And you can also track the location of your kids. So no more worrying about where they are or if they're on the way home. And you can send the messages or give them a call too. Now, if you want to know more about how I use my Apple Watch every single day, check out this video. I'll see you there.